Very good evening and thanks for clicking on to the Friday edition of Logan's European Outlook. I've recently moved into a new house, still awaiting internet, so this is going to be a short video and it's not going to be as much as what I would like to show you, but uh, you know there is uh, things going on at the moment, so instead of having no video today, I'm going to show you some stuff with regards to what's going on, because it is quite a complex pattern at the moment. Notice the Arctic Oscillation went from firmly positive down into slight negative, as you can see here, and the North Atlantic Oscillation is uh, firmly negative as well. Now, what we've got over the next um, you know, several days or so is we've got a, a fairly significant uh, and very powerful jet stream, by the way, exiting Asia, crossing over the Pacific. And what it's going to do is it's going to buckle the jet stream, and we are going to see some very significant undulations so we've got uh, the p current powerful jet stream riding across the pacific it is forcing a deepening of the trough over the uh, over the north pacific uh, we see uh, the build-up of pressure over the western portion of north america so that's forcing the jet all the way up into the arctic region and in turn it's sending a lobe of very cold air uh, for the time of the year into eastern portions of north america and the temperatures are going to go uh, 10 to 20 even slightly below uh, you know 20 below normal for the time of the year that is a significant arctic shock into the midwest into the great lakes and eventually the northeast half of the country here so that then in turn forces the jet stream north all the way up into the north of greenland hence why we've got the negative north atlantic oscillation and then downstream of that again We've got um, relatively cold air um, coming down, but it's staying slightly to the west of the British Isles here. And that is the reason why we're not going to see particularly chilly air associated with this type of pattern. A negative Arctic oscillation, definitely a negative North Atlantic oscillation, but the trough position is slightly to the west of the UK and Ireland. So therefore, we're going to be right on that boundary between very milder coming up from the from the south and colder coming down to the west of the UK. This is the uh, GFS 850 temperature profile here. You can see here the warm air getting lifted north up into the Baffin Straits, as you can see here. Uh, we've got um, the, the trough axis centered uh, generally right down through Iceland and into the subtropical Atlantic here. So a, a very chilly shot of air, by the way, coming all the way down into the Azores. But notice where the UK is located. We're right close by uh, some unusually warm air getting lifted up into the heart of, of Europe here. Northwest British Isles will be below normal temperature-wise. Southeastern half of the British Isles, where you're in that southwesterly flow, you're going to see temperatures slightly above average. So struggling 9, 10, 11 Celsius, Northwest Highlands, 16 to 18 Celsius in the southeast of the British Isles here. And areas of low pressure generally to the west of the UK means that we do get wind and rain, and there's going to be plenty of it in the, the coming seven-day period. But we're also going to be generally in that milder air, especially across the south and east half of the country here. So you get the overall idea. The trough axis is generally to the west of the UK. We've got very warm air getting lifted up into the eastern side of North America. Down comes the cold downstream of that, but then in turn uh, to the east of that again, we've got warm air getting lifted up into Europe here. So a very up and down setup at the moment here, that's for sure. And this is the setup uh, by the time we get to what day is this? Monday, the 17th of October. And this is the classic scenario here. So the trough axis, west of the UK, we're in that south to southwesterly flow. So we're in the milder, uh, so too is Europe. Uh, all the the main core of the cold and, and unsettled weather, deep areas of low pressure, generally to the west, we've got this strong ridge of high pressure getting lifted up into Greenland, as you can see here. So we're pulling very warmer up in the Greenland, very warm air up in the western Canada, where it has been quite warm in recent times. And then you've got your twin troughs down over the Great Lakes and the west of the UK and Europe, as you can see here. So it is a fairly complex scenario, a complex setup here. We've got uh, several areas of low pressure that is spiraling 
within that trough to the west of the British Isles. That they will continue over the next several days and we should see outbreaks of fairly heavy rainfall and glancing blows, if not frontal systems itself, uh, pushing eastwards across the UK. So like I said, fairly short video, not a great deal of charts. There's the, the map just on uh, uploading there. So uh, that is what I'm contending with, unfortunately. But you notice here, this is the, the overview chart by the time we reach Sunday at 6 a.m. And you've got a lot of high pressure out over the Atlantic. There's your complex, um, you know, multiple areas of low pressure embedded within this trough. And we've got, of course, surges of relatively warm air, actually, especially ahead of frontal systems. Where you get sunshine, you could actually see temperatures rising, possibly even into the, 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 the kind of 20, 21 Celsius range, believe it or not, by the time we reach either Sunday, if not Monday of next week here. So we'll watch this space. But certainly I'll have a better video tomorrow. Uh, I should be parked up in Stafford by about 1 p.m. I'm currently at home in, uh, in Rosshire. But I'm going to be parked up in Stafford tomorrow afternoon then i go down to portsmouth late tomorrow night cross over the channel back into france again with a load of fish for laurent in Brittany. so um we um so yeah another uh, trip across to france this upcoming week so i will have videos every day and we'll continue to watch this space as we go forward hope you enjoy the rest of your friday please like share and subscribe to the channel bye for now